what's happening in Kano is definitely something um, that one would want to wonder what exactly is happening. Um, the strange disease came up, you know, sometime late last week or into this week. And then we have reports that NAVDAC is already investigating and some findings have been made. Could you please expatiate on the findings so far? Well, uh, good morning. It's good to be here. Uh, this is a case of the Kano incident is a case of food poisoning with uh, juice or, chemi or flavored drinks uh, uh, that has a, a chemical called Dansami. Uh, and we are looking at this. It is very, very serious because uh, uh, the, food the food poisoning resulted in diarrhea, vomiting, and uh, you know, hospitalization. Uh, our zonal director, uh, pharmacist Gimba, is on top of this, and uh, our pharmacovigilance uh, officers are also uh, inquiring or investigating uh, what actually happened. So we're going to do a lot of uh, testing in the lab. First, to know what is the nature of this uh, Dan Sami uh, chemical uh, that probably led to the food poisoning. Well, one wonders, I mean, what the origin of that would be in the first place and the fact that according to what we have on the front page of one of the uh, papers this morning, uh, it's an investment running into millions that some people made. And um, so what's going to happen in that stead? Uh, has the person be apprehended, been apprehended? And um, what's the story around that person? Actually, uh, right now, I don't have the details as of this. I got the information uh, yesterday. Uh, but in terms of arrest, uh, I've not gotten um, more information uh, since yesterday. But uh, our pharmacovigilance is, going, is already there. And uh, once we determine uh, the cause, and then we will know uh, what next to do in terms of uh, uh, arresting the culprits or bringing them to the office to explain what is going on. What are the chances of a recurrence, Prof? Uh, the chances of recurrence are minimal. Uh, however, I'm going to qualify that because we don't even know whether uh, this chemical uh, is smuggled or even the, the flavor drink uh, manufacturing is not approved by NAVDAC. Uh, that sometimes is what we find out. Uh, a doctor was you know, sent something to me a few months ago, or a few weeks ago actually, uh, that a medicine is not working. And I said, okay, will you check whether there's NAVDAC number? And coincidentally, there was no NAVDAC number on two of the three uh, medicines. So we, we have every day we battle, uh, uh, what do you call it, top standard falsified medicines. We have porous walls, uh, I said porous walls, porous borders, sorry. Uh, and uh, we, we work every day. That is part of our core regulatory activities, running and looking up, uh, running after uh, smuggled uh, goods, smuggled drugs uh, that are substandard, sometimes counterfeited. Uh, so we just have to find out exactly whether this particular flavored drink uh, was approved by NABDAC. And if they approved by NABDAC, what was causing uh, the food poisoning. And it may be source of water because such a, such a water is also associated with this. Uh, we have apprehended, we have shut down many companies, water companies, because of the uh, unsanitary uh, conditions that they, you know, they have at their sites. Uh, many times we approve 
uh, a site and they give us, you know, they show the day of inspection, they show the best. Uh, sometimes they will go and rent equipment that we know we will pass or, the, or equipment that we pass rather. And uh, after we leave the return the equipment, uh, put people that are not as qualified uh, back uh, to the site. So the work of NAVDAC is a daily, round the clock, 24 uh, seven vigilance. And what we ask, also ask the citizens to do is to please work with us. So please work with us, call us, uh, so that we can easily go and follow up on this. We have offices in 36 plus one FCT states in the country. Uh, and uh, our staff go around, you know, as for their regular uh, duties. Uh, the COVID-19, and I would want to also under, underscore that, uh, the lockdown last year, we could not uh, visit for about five, six months. That also added to the relaxation or the uh, violation that we are observing, but we are getting on top of this uh, as we speak. Mm -hmm.